Okay. Now, we're going to start with a lemma. And it goes like this. Look at a polynomial now. Just a polynomial. It's not an operator. It's just a polynomial in N. A0 N to the D, A1 N to the D minus 1. Da, 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 da. It's a complex polynomial. With the leading coefficient, not zero. Now, apply the operator a minus r to p of n. The claim is that the answer, p of n times r to the n, the, the answer is some other polynomial q of n times r to the n, but the degree of the polynomial has dropped by one. And actually, uh, I see a typo. It shouldn't say this is a degree d minus 1. It should say it's a degree at most d minus 1. At most d minus 1. OK, now I actually want to sort of show you how that works. So what we're going to take is a polynomial. We're going to take a minus uh, R, and now we're going to apply that to a polynomial. And I'm going to do it with a specific one just so you get the idea. Oh, let's say um, 8 n to the fourth minus 7 n squared plus 13 times R to the n. Now, I, I deliberately didn't put a cube term in there because I want you to, to think that you know, some of the coefficients can be 0, but the one that's important here is the 8. So I'm applying a minus r times a polynomial in n times r to the n. And now the claim is that this answer is going to be a polynomial in n times r to the n, where the degree of the polynomial has gone down. It's right now degree 4. But let's just look at it to see why it goes down. So if you apply the advancement operator to this, you get 8 times n plus 1 to the fourth minus 7 times n plus 1 squared plus 13 times r to the n plus 1. That's the first term, a applied to this. Agreed? Now subtract r. So and you're going to multiply 8 times n to the fourth minus 7n squared plus 13 times r to the n plus 1. Did I do that correctly? Question? What happened to your 8 and your 7? Say that again. What happened to your 8 and your 7? I'm, I'm still not hearing you. Well, oh, you're just subtract. Why are you subtracting the term? Because it's a minus r. A minus R. So I, I apply A, and then I subtract R from it. OK? OK. Now, I don't want to do this work. But I want you to look at that and tell me what the coefficient of n to the fourth is. Just tell me what the coefficient of n to the fourth is. Zero. Zero. Why? When you take n plus 1 to the fourth power, that's the binomial theorem. Week 1. What's the leading coefficient on the term n to the fourth? 1. So you're multiplying it by 8, and then you subtract 8. The coefficient of n to the fourth is zip. So 
the answer is some polynomial in here times r to the n plus 1, where this guy has degree at most 3. I don't know this exactly 3, because the, I, I just don't. Those terms might cancel as well. But definitely the coefficient of n to the fourth is zip. OK, now that's not quite in the right form, but r is a constant. So this is the, well, a slightly different polynomial times r to the n, where I take one of the factors of the r and just multiply all the coefficients of this by it. Okay, so when you take a minus r and apply it to a polynomial of degree d times r to the n, you get a you lower the degree of the factor polynomial. That's what this little lemma is showing. OK, now it actually shows more. If you take a different value, s, s is distinct from r, and apply a minus s times p to the n, r to the n, you get a polynomial, a different polynomial, times r to the n, but the degree of the polynomial does not change. Now, why is that? All right, let's go back to this page and imagine what happens if we don't apply a minus r, but instead we apply a minus s. So the first line is uh, the, app, the advancement operator. That's unchanged. How does this line change? How does that line change? Exactly. So this term right here is different. It becomes s times r to the n. OK. Now, tell me what is the coefficient of n to the fourth? Uh, no, I don't, don't tell me that. Don't do the calculation. Just do you see that it isn't 0? It isn't 0. Because up here, the coefficient of is 8r. Take off one of these r's and put it with that one. It's 8r. And what is it down here? 8s. Up here, it's 8r. And down here, it's 8s. And if r isn't s, those two coefficients aren't the same, and they don't cancel. So the degree of the polynomial did not move. It was 4 to start with, and it's 4 now. I don't have to do the rest of the calculation. I only wanted to make that statement that the degree of the polynomial did not drop. OK. All right, so, so that's the proof of this key lemma. When you have a minus r and you apply it to a polynomial of n times r to the n, the degree of the polynomial drops. And if you apply it for any other operator, a minus s, where s isn't r, then the polynomial doesn't drop. Coefficients might change, but the degree didn't drop.